Hello, everybody. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. Two wide receivers will be looking to be number one targets on the field in today's game. It's Jackson's Buccaneers going up against Jones's Falcons. Now let's head down to Jim Nance and Phil Sims for this Week 10 matchup. Falcons, Buccaneers. Rainy conditions here at kickoff, and the rain should continue throughout the day. Hello, friends. Jim Nance along with Phil Sims. Do we have a little upset special coming your way today? One team's unbeaten. Well, I know the undefeated team hopes not, but I'll tell you, Jim, the other team, they're excited about getting out there and getting the chance to put that first blemish on the record. You're always looking for an edge. When you go against an undefeated team, that's a big edge for your football team. Martin's going to be deep here for the opening kick. The top team in the NFC will start today on defense. They'll be kicking it away here. He'll take it from the one. And they stop him from running it out to the 20. Mark him down at the 19. At quarterback at six foot six, Mike Glennon, who has a big arm. Mike Glennon, so tall, and can just stand in that pocket and actually look over the defense. Not many quarterbacks can do that. He's six foot seven, and when he has played, he's played very well. First and ten. Off the right side, Mark. And at the 25, he'll be brought down. It's always a chess match early in the game to see what your opponent is going to do. A good run that time by the offense. They pick up good yards. Maybe the defense will have to start crowding the line of scrimmage more. Mark is in the backfield. They'll run it. Here's the handoff. He's tackled beyond the markers. It's a first down. The defense doesn't want to give up runs like that, so how do they stop it? Well, they start crowding the line of scrimmage, so you keep crowding that line of scrimmage. Look out. They'll throw it over the top. Loading up with extra defensive backs Ready. in the dime. Ready. The Buccaneers snap it at the 31. And James is handed the football. And that's good for only a yard or two. And now we'll look at the Buccaneers lineup. No one seems to be scared of their passing attack as they rank near the bottom when it comes to passing yards per game. Second down and eight. Keeps it here. He's got the catch. They knock him down, and he's still two yards short of the first. The Buccaneers, a lot of people like to throw screens and run draws. No. They look deep down the field. It's not there. They throw it short. They pick up some good yards. Now they can do what they want on third, run, or pass. Third down and two. Play action fake. Looking to throw. To a halt. Lennon selling this play big time. The defense, they go for the run fake, and that's why he has time to throw the football and makes the completion. Good job. Jackson's a receiver in the slot. First down at the 48. Here's the handoff to Doug Martin. He's going to be tackled right around the 49. And here's the Falcons' defensive lineup. They do have a tendency to give up a lot of yardage. So we'll see if this offense can take advantage today. Falcons come out in a dime package. Second down and nine. Throws the pass. And he hauls it in. That's a good job that time by the quarterback getting that pass completion. Now it makes third down very manageable for him. The jumbo set on the field. James got it on the handle. And he's tackled, but not until he picked up the first down. A running back must always know the situation. It's third and short. Don't be looking to break it outside and go for the big run. Get the first down so the offense can stay on the field. Nice job. The Buccaneers will take the snap from the 40. Tackled just three yards short of the first. That was a power running play that time by the offense. It picked up some good yards. Nothing like it. 
Show the defense you're willing to get in there and slug it out and get some tough running yards. The Buccaneers take it from the 33. Looks to his left. The Buccaneers get a first down. Nobody cares. Just get the job done. Throw it deep down the field or throw it short to the running back and look at those extra yards after the short pass. This has been a long drive so far. Martin's marked down at the 19. Offense heading to the line for the 11th play of the drive. This long drive continues. Second down and seven. The catch is made. They bring him to the turf. The Buccaneers had a nice play designed that time. They pulled the defense and they get the pass completion for a nice pickup. The long drive continues. And he's in for the touchdown. Oh, you just love it as a quarterback. You get down in there and it's first to go and you score. Now you don't have to sweat the fact that, man, what are we going to do if it gets to third down? You don't have to worry about it. Good run, nice touchdown. The Falcons in kick return formation. This is Arenas running it out. And the tackle's made right around the 25-yard line. Ryan's going to jog out to the huddle now. Seven years in the league and seven years of fast experiences. One more snap and another quarter is in the books. First and ten. Going to try and scramble now. Matt Ryan with the long pass down the field. Oh, it almost picked off that time. After the incomplete pass, it brings up second down. Wide receivers stacked up on this play. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. White's got it. And a first. Well, if you want to be a good play action pass team it's always nice to have a good running game make the defense dig in and try to stop your run when they do that you fool them you fake it you throw it down the field that that's that's about as easy as it gets the Falcons have been involved in some tight games these past two weeks they won one last week but now they trail in another close one Phil given these close games which we seem to see almost every single week it usually comes down to which team doesn't turn the football over. Second down and 10. Pulls it in. Johnson's going to make the tackle. Well, I guess the best thing to say there, Jim, is they completed the pass, but it still did not get a first down. The defense comes out in the dime. The Falcons have it at the 44. Looking across the middle, and he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. Nice job that time by the defense, knowing the situation. Go ahead and let the quarterback complete the pass. Just make sure you come up and make the tackle before the first down. Good job. Fourth down coming up. They are close enough to a first to go for it here on fourth down. They'll go with the extra tonnage here with the jumbo set. The give out of the eye. That's a gain of seven. The Falcons with the gutsy call, and they convert here on fourth and short. Yeah, it was. Gutsy call by the offense and the offensive coordinator. But look, this guy's willing to take chances, and he tries these these plays and these situations every game, and that time they came through. Now first and ten. Out of the pocket, and he's taken down. What a good scheme that time by the defense. They confuse the offense. They blitz. They don't know who to pick up. And how about the defender? They must love this. Coming in free and gets a good clean shot on the QB and gets a sack the field very nearly intercepted and we've reached the two-minute warning
failing to connect their third down. Offense lines up here. Play fake. They're going to get him here for a sack. That's a timeout by the defense. They're in punting formation. Miserable place to start this next drive. They load it up now. Bring out the jumbo formation. First down and ten. Flyers tackled down after a gain of five. And now they'll try over again on second down. Murphy's going to get set in the slot for the snap. They'll hike it to him out of the shotgun. A two-point safety for the defense. Gets out past the 30 and brought down at the 35. Falcons offense heads on to the field. Jackson takes his spot in the backfield. And now he'll take off. Has to get rid of it. Underneath and incomplete that time. Good job that time by the defense. They let the quarterback get outside the pocket, but they stay in place, they show their discipline, and there's nowhere to throw it. Jackson's in the backfield, single back set. The defense gets the set. The Buccaneers, one timeout remaining. Third down. To the sack. Split backfield here. Split backfield here. Ryan from the gun. Gets away from the pressure. Heaving it down the field. And that's Burner who almost comes away with a pick. Defensive coordinators love this situation, don't they? Third and long. They can do just about anything, and it's going to work. And they stop the offense that time. up in the backfield. Hey, move, On the money. He's tackled right at the 48. The Buccaneers have to call one right here, and they do, and they are out of timeouts. First and ten. Defense calls a timeout. After nearly turning it over, it's second down. Jackson's lined up now as a slot receiver. Doug Martin carries the football. That's a tackle right near the 48. Heading to the line for a third down play, and this was something they specialized in last week, converting in these situations. We've reached halftime, and we'll be sending it back to our studio and Larry Ridley as we continue with the NFL on EA Sports. And this is Arenas running it out. And the tackle is made right around the 26-yard line. The Falcons get ready to start their drive. First and ten. Gives it to Steven Jackson. 
dragged to the ground. Looks like he's still about a yard short of the first. The Falcons have struggled in pass protection. Lions tried to drop back and make plays, but he's been under pressure all game long. Oh, boy, watching a quarterback in a day like today, I'm glad I'm up in the booth because that is some beating he is taking, but he's hanging in there tough. Looking for space, left side. Foster's there to make the tackle. The Falcons, good job that time moving the chains, picking up that first down. And, Jim, of course, there's no time to panic in a situation like this. I think they know that. It's in the second half. You've got, you're got you down just a few points. Just keep looking for ways to get another first down, and that'll serve your team well. Good job that time by the offense. Power run gets them a few yards. Rodgers is in the backfield. Falcons will take the snap from the 45. They hand it off to him again. We don't always get to see defensive matchups these days, but today it's been exactly that. Low scoring game, and it's because both defenses have really stepped up and done their job. Yeah, a lot of people look at games like this and go, oh, that's boring. I think it's fun to see because we don't get to see it too often. And what it does, it puts a lot of pressure on the players and especially the coaches to make decisions that are going to give their team a chance to win in a game like this. Offense lines up here. Second and eight. Ryan still has it. Now on the move. Got the completion. Jenkins there to take him down. Well, I think we all know the situation here. It's a close game in the second half, and you're losing, but you pick up a first down. Oh, my gosh. That opens up many more possibilities what you can do on the offensive side. Good job by the offense. Jackson's a guy, anytime he gets a chance to get into secondary and make a big play, he thinks he's going to take it for a touchdown. Not this time. It's a big run, but still well done. The Falcons from the 22. Rodgers looking for a lane. He stacked up at that point. Good job by the offense getting in the red zone. Now you're down some points. you got to find a way to score a touchdown. This will be the eighth play of this drive. Second down and eight. They feed it to him one more time. To the right side. Gets about four yards that time. About to snap it for the ninth play of the drive. Third and four. He'll keep it on the play fake. Getting away from the pressure. And he's forced to the ground. Well, the defense has got to be excited. Anytime on third down, they make the play. Uh, they get pretty fired up. But when you sack the quarterback on third down, that is one happy and emotional defense right now. The kick is through for three. Jim, they get the field goal at that time, and it keeps the momentum on their side. It's positive energy. It makes you feel good. Now we'll see if the defense can carry it on. Takes it from the two. Gets out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. The Buccaneers come onto the field for their next series. Murphy's lined up in the slot. Now first and 10. Martin's going to secure the handoff. And it'll be second down and six after the running play on first down. Coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Has Jackson. Moore's there to take him down. That's a nice play that time by the offense, getting the first down. They're up here in the second half, and they're moving the football. That is a great feeling. Martin's lined up now as the running back behind the quarterback. The Buccaneers have it at the 39. That'll stop the play right there. Second and four following the run. Second down here. It's a dime look for the defense on this play. 
final quarter underway now with this snap. The Buccaneers lead right now, but you will see that not everything is going their way. Martin's had a tough one, especially down the stretch. If they want to control the game, you have to think they're going to go back to him for some more touches and try to get it right. That's right. Keep giving him the football. Keep mixing the plays up. Don't get obvious in your play calls. If you do, the defense will have everything on their side. That brings the play to an end. Looking ahead, the Buccaneers will be on the road in Washington next week, while the Falcons will be on the road in Carolina. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Martin is in the backfield. To the ground. Martin up the middle. And they advance the ball onto the other side of the field. That's second down coming up. We're late in the fourth, and the offense is just trying to sit on the lead. Right back to him one more time, and that's a two-yard gain. Well, I know it's not going to make a highlight film, but still a good solid run up in there for a couple yards. Third down on the way. Two minutes, two minutes remaining in the game. Now third and four following the run. Martin's lined up as the single back. Back to the ground. This time, they fail to pick up the first on third down. A rare occurrence here today. This is called managing the football game as a head coach. What are you doing here? You've got a lead. It's close. It's fourth down and it's short yardage. You're near midfield. Don't do it. Punt the football away. And if the other team's going to go ahead, make them drive the length of the field. down pressure on every snap now Matt Ryan under center first down and 10 play action he'll throw it over the middle White's got the catch and the first first down here after the completion he's setting up here he's been sacked four times already what a beating it has been for the quarterback Jones got the catch and the first Bryant's getting his leg ready over there on the sidelines they'll need to get to the 36 yard line to give him any chance at all the Falcons coming to the line still have all three of their timeouts here in the fourth quarter this play set up by the long gainer the shotgun and now Ryan's gonna take off catch made along the sideline big first down by the offense that time here in the second half they're losing a close game and you get that first down it just gives you confidence it opens up the playbook and it just gives you a better chance of going down the field and getting the score back to the air here on first down scrambling out of the pocket and this is dropped Look the football in. With the gloves these receivers wear, the rules that you can't touch them, there's no excuse for dropping the football. Second down coming up. Time, obviously, a factor the rest of the way. They bring in the extra tight end. Jackson gets about nine on the play. The Buccaneers call the timeout. They're first. Third down coming up, needing a first at this point. There's a lot of extra weight out there for this jumbo set. And picks up maybe three or four. That's a timeout by the D. Setting up here. He's been sacked four times already. What a beating it has been for the quarterback.
Falcons with a field goal try to take the lead here in the fourth. Second down now. Big play coming. Defense looking for a stop. Burners there that time for the tackle. The Falcons with the timeout. They know now that they control this one as they're in field goal range for the win. The Falcons had a moment to breathe and now huddle back up while they're right now in field goal range. Set now. The game on the line right here. He puts it through, and the celebration is on. They were thinking touchdown that entire drive, but in the end, they have to go field goal. They convert here in the closing stages. Well, I'm sure they would have loved to kick that field goal as time expired, but that's not the case. Good job of moving the football down the field, getting that field goal to put them ahead, and now the defense, go out there and do your job. the 32 yard line well Phil it comes down to the kicker and he delivers the goods at the end of the game you know we don't give the kickers enough credit they're the only people that get to go out and actually think about their job before the play happens such a reactionary sport uh, I give the kicker a lot of credit made a big kick in a tough moment what a memorable game this truly was for Phil Sims, Danielle Bellini, and Larry Ridley, Jim Nance saying so long for now, and we leave you with the GMC Never Say Never moment of the game.